All right, Andrew Cuomo is facing overwhelming calls to resign because he's not doing a great job. But this is even from Democrats. Even the media has jumped on board. Let's discuss with our panel. Amber Athey is the Washington editor of The Spectator. And Bobby Eberly is a Republican strategist and host of the 13-minute news hour with the greatest background in TV. Good morning to both of you. Uh, Bobby, I want to go to you first. What do you make of this? Oh, well, you know, it's, it's po politicians get their power from their office and the people around them. That is the foundation. And what we see now is that foundation around Andrew Cuomo is crumbling. People are calling for his resignation. Right now he's stepping, he's saying, I'm not going anywhere. But when that foundation falls <laughs> under your feet, you're, it's a bad sign. And mm -hmm. it's, people are stepping forward. They're saying more and more stuff. He needs to go. And what are we up to? Six, seven people with accusations now it's getting worse. It's a completely different situation than we had with Brett Kavanaugh and one accuser. All the Democrats were coming out. Now they were kind of laying back. But the momentum of the fourth accuser, the fifth accuser, mm. sixth, it's too much. I, I think his days are numbered. Yeah, so Amber, though, up till last week, people were saying, well, it's only two accusers. It's only three accusers. I mean, what, what's a magic number before people just get fed up with this? Right. I mean, that's the real question is how many is too many. And so when you look a little bit deeper into this, it kind of seems like the sexual harassment or sexual assault allegations are a distraction. This is a shiny object to pull people away from his original scandal, which was the undercounting of nursing home deaths, as well as the policy change to put COVID-19 patients back in nursing homes with the most vulnerable people in the entire state of New York and across the country. So Democrats, when you look at their statements, for example, the one from Schumer and Gillibrand calling for Cuomo to resign, they mention the, uh, the allegations from the women. They don't mention the nursing home death. So we have to remember that this is a much broader scandal than the left wants us to believe. They are using these allegations as the sole focus because they don't want to have to reckon with the fact that so many Democrats across the country um, also used this nursing home policy and ended up causing a lot of death. Right, Bobby, and I'm glad Amber brought that up because, I mean, there's a, this is a huge issue, too. He lied, lied, and I say that very strongly, he lied deliberately to us about the number of nursing home deaths. Then he covered it up. Then he threatened somebody that was going to e expose it. Talk about that. Well, right, and that's the thing. No state in the union reports the COVID deaths in nursing homes the way New York decided to do. We know it was a cover-up. He lied about that. And Amber's absolutely right. And so you got to wonder what the strategy is from the Democrats by going after Cuomo on this. Remember, he was the golden boy. He was the one people were looking at to maybe run for president because people weren't liking Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders. So by taking away the heat from what really is the key situation, which is this nursing home cover-up, Maybe they think he survives it. Maybe they think nursing home goes away. I'm not sure. But the thing is, is these are huge scandals. The biggest one is this nursing home cover up. And yeah. the investigation has to go through. That could bring him down by itself. And then you've got this on top of it. Right. Now, I got, I got about two minutes, and I want to get to something extremely serious here. Uh, my wife is sitting at home, and she's sweating because Netflix is cracking down on sharing of passwords. Up to one-third of users share their passwords with other people who don't have their own account. Now, Amber, does this worry you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, all of my ex-boyfriends are really worried right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, I think, obviously, you should be able to share with your family members, but I do think it's fair to say that a lot of uh, non-familial related members, uh, uh, you know, friends and, and extended relatives have been taking advantage of people's Netflix's, Netflix accounts for a long time. So I'm really not surprised they finally decided to crack down on that. Yeah, but Bobby, here's the issue, though. This goes back to the free and fair market. Like, if you have, like, their, their regular account, it's like you get one unit or one, you know, one Apple device or whatever it is. Um, but if right. you buy their Supreme account, which is like, I don't know, a dollar or two more a month, you can have eight, nine, ten devices. Now, I have kids that are you know spend time in different places different households sometimes and we're all over the place sometimes i go on a trip i i was in dc for a year of my life working down there when trump was in office and we my wife and i had the same uh thing is this a real issue 
Uh, it could be. I mean, again, I don't have the, the, the people going to freak out like Amber does, but I know my kids use my password. I can see when they log on from a different device. But that's the thing. They might be watching on their phone. They might be watching on their TV. That's two devices right there. And that is a family member. This is driven by Netflix getting competition from other people. Before, this wasn't an issue. You know, share passwords. It doesn't matter. But when people have multiple devices, and now all of a sudden you have family members that have multiple devices, it could be an issue. And, and we'll see how it goes. But I know my kids are freaking out a little bit right now. Yeah, no, I, I think it is. Your kids are freaking out. Amber's ex-boyfriends are freaking out. <laughs> right. All right. Amber AP, <laughs> Bobby Everly, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Okay, friends, thanks so much for watching. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you'll be notified. And here's a special video just for you so you can watch even more of the 13-minute news hour. And don't forget to check out GOPUSA.com for the best in conservative news and commentary. We'll see you next time.